Hello my garden scholars, I'm your plantologist Archie Warner. The tree you are discovering today is the celebration maple. And now that you've taken a few moments to read up on its basics, I'm going to grow your knowledge and tell you what really sets this tree a branch above the rest. First of all, the celebration maple is created by cross-pollinating a red maple along with a silver maple. This cross is truly remarkable because it takes many of the extraordinary traits from each individual tree and produces one superior tree. This cross gives us the fast growth rate of the silver maple with the ability to grow more than four feet in one year. But it also gives us the stronger branching structure of the red maple to hold up to storm damage. This combination also gives the celebration the ability to survive in poor, wet, heavy clay soils better than any other maple I know. And as a bonus, one of the celebration maple's best characteristic is that it's virtually seedless. This means no maple helicopters to clean up in the spring and far less weeding to do in your garden. At the end of the season, as winter approaches, the superior fall color of the red maple shines through in the celebration as it turns to colors of reds, orange, and yellows. This maple truly exhibits the best of both trees. Its beauty, along with its ability to thrive in virtually any landscape, makes the celebration maple hard to overlook. This tree works best when planted in wide open areas to create scale and add green mass. It also works great to line driveways or to mark property boundaries. Well, so long my garden scholars, and as always, if you would ever like additional help, please never hesitate to ask.